blah, 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 blah. So we're covering um, relatively two episodes of Dragon Ball Super. Um, it's pretty much like the beginning of that Royale. And then the next Tournament episode. Tournament Power. Tournament Power. Well, I, I just called the Battle Royale. <laughs> but yeah, it, it sounds, is. Some of the sound is awesome. Yeah, Tournament of Power. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and the following episode, like what that is, like, focus five between like Goku, Vegeta, and Universe 9. So I it's been a while like since I watched the previous episode for it. Mm -hmm. But um it was them like all just joining up to to this like arena, right? So it was just everyone congregating together. Everyone like, came together. Introduce um, each other, see some familiar yeah, faces, like have some banter here and there. Like I'm going to finish like our grudge match. Like I'm fighting for my universe Goku. Please don't talk about this right now. Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's when we find uh, Jiren, right? Yeah. yeah. He was like, "Hey, dude, you looked up good loss." Oh shit! <laughs> that was the most intimidating thing I've ever seen in all of Dragon Ball. It's and that's it's... the literal instant movement of someone to another location. That's more. Because even instant transmission, yeah. The ch -ch -ch -ch. this was one frame. He was there. The next, he was not. Mm. He was in another location. Mm. In. The difference of a frame. I was thinking my joke that this is more instant than my instant transmission. Did I? I feel like we talked about that before, didn't we? Didn't we talk about? I don't know. In that case, uh, we kind of already know. Everyone just starts fighting, and uh, we already know. Oh, I guess maybe not because we didn't. I don't think we ever talked about. We didn't Gohan. talk about the beginning of the fight. Yeah, we're like I think Gohan, a uh, young not Yamcha. <laughs> Tien, Go, uh, Yoshi, yeah. uh, Krillin, they all kind of stayed together. And Piccolo. And Piccolo. Because, well, I mean, that's their strategy. I'm not, because I, I think that Piccolo's... That was the whole fucking plan. And then Goku, Vegeta, and uh, our good buddy Frieza. And androids. Oh, yeah, and androids. They just kind of soloed it, because, like, we're, we're better than this. Because I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, Piccolo, for sure, is, like, and Gohan can hold their own against, like, a lot of these... Especially how they are now, but th that's their plan was just to do like the solar flare followed by like a whole mesh of like attacks going at each other. And for the most part, like it did a good job as like a good defense to keep the numbers up. The goddamn destructo disc. That the rule is you can't kill. Krillin go throws the only thing that's known to kill everything. Destructo disc. But I guess it doesn't. I guess it's okay. When he was grossly underpowered against Vegeta, he chopped off his tail. When he was grossly underpowered against Frieza, he used he, it. Ch he chopped his tail off. What's with what's with Krillin chopping tails off? I can't just like pluck him like Piccolo does. I don't know, but yeah, the the um the idea behind the um Kianzan is the same thing as the Kiko, which is they exponentially increase the power of attack way further than the power of the actual user. Mm -hmm. So even if they were really, even if they were a thousand times stronger than Krillin, that thing would cut through them. It's such concentrated death. I guess that's kind of the same with like Frieza's death beam. Yeah. But yeah, that's an actually in the next episode. Uh, we do see just a whole bunch of like Goku just like bullshitting, <laughs> essentially, because he's fighting other people. He finds Jiren's like, oh shit. Oh, actually, he finds the other guy first. And he's like, let's fight, let's fight, let's do it, let's do it. And then like, fight Tobo so bad. Yeah, let's fight Tobo. And then yoink. Oh shit. Oh shit. My one true weakness. <laughs> My one weakness being held from behind. <laughs> Literally everyone has done this to me and I can't stop them. Oh, you're gonna go with me. No, no, no. You're gonna go with me. No, 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 no. <laughs> and he's Super Saiyan Blue's out of it. And he's like, oh god, thank god. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just, just want to show everyone what I got, right? Soya, 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 soya. Don't have too much soya. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the soy, please. But. So yeah, that's pretty much everything on Goku's part. Otherwise, um, Vegeta was just socking the shit out of one dude. The oh right, the first episode. It was it was legitimately the same like scene, just like at different points of the episode. Like da -da 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 -da. next scene, other scene. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, they scene. literally replayed the same the same clip twice. <laughs> Lazy or just funny? 
Both. I, I think both, yeah. It was lazy, but it ended up being funny. <laughs> so it's forgiven for now. For now. Thankfully, he doesn't do that too much in the uh, following episode, which mm-hmm. is like more focused on uh, Universe 9 just ganging up on Goku. I mean, rightfully so. That's a sound strategy. I like, mean, I mean, it's not like the whole universe is against him. It was only their top 10 fighters. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> it was just like, it was just the entire team. Yeah. Ganging up on one person out of like nine other universes or eight other universes. Yeah. And so, I mean, like everyone else has like their side thing. Frieza, again, is like, he's like toying or, around with that never one. Never mind. It was oh, nine right. of them it was that nine were of fighting them. against Goku. And one was because with- Frieza was toying with the other guy, just doing what he did to, uh, to... To Gemba or something, whatever his name was. Was it something? Uh, it was from Resurrection of F. Oh, really? He just kept fucking shooting him with the death beam for his training. Oh, really? So oh, yeah. Learned, so he could learn how much he can shoot someone and not kill them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Fuck, dude. Could you imagine that being just your job for three months? Three months, day in, day out, being put almost to death. No! You can't have them, sweethearts. Stop it. But it's... It's kind of funny how... He pretty much got the guy to just jump off. <laughs> He's like, I don't, please. <laughs> no. The best part is how you're like, I hope to God he just jumps off of his own volition. Immediately after you put the period on that sentence, Help, 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 help! And he jumps off. <laughs> oh, thank God. You fool! Why'd you do that? Oh no, I just threw him away my chance of winning. He had no chance of winning. At no. least he made his demise painless. Yeah. And then, I mean, that was, that was all for naught. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually do like this episode and the fact that... I mean, like, Goku and Vegeta are, like, one of the strongest, like, characters, like, in the series. I mean, like, there's definitely the Gods of Destruction now, but, like, they've always been, like... like in one terms of, the, of mortal... They yeah, are they're one of the strongest. Virtually the pinnacle of power. Yeah. Um, and so, like, in this episode, it shows, like, Universe 9, like, just ganging up on them. And you see them on the defense. Like, even with Vegeta and Goku, they've just been stalling them. They know, like, they're ganging up on them. And, like, even if they, like, try, like, more than average, they're going to end up just doing their, their um, fist exchange. And that's all they're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. You know, they won't push anywhere further and further. And I appreciate the fact that there's some strategy to it. They're not going like Super Saiyan Blue immediately because they're going to just drain their stamina. They know they have to last 48 minutes. Or so, yeah. And so their whole key strategy was to keep enduring their attacks until there's like one opening where the teamwork of Universe 9 like has an opening of opportunity which they like take immediately. Yeah, they got cocky and rushed in and Vegeta quickly took a hold of that situation put them all into a bit of shock and Goku took advantage of that situation and that knocked out what was it five of them yeah in one quick burst yeah and that was like that was actually really smart so I really appreciate that type of like fighting in this mm-hmm. um, tournament and we so, got to see the closest we got we got to see something really close to the big bang Kamehameha yeah I actually really like that uh no, go on the grass. Uh, Come on, go on the grass. So I'm going to decide the jump cut. So um, going back to the whole fighting strategy. Yeah, that was a really sound one. And the whole finisher, which is like Super Saiyan Blue, Kamehameha, and Final Flash. Just like blow the rest of them out there. And that was the um, trio de danger. Right, they had their, what was it, trio beam or whatever. Yeah. I liked um, Supreme Kai's this comment. Like, I hate why they're so tacky with their names. Why they got to be... <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of their names. Um, Iron Skin. Iron Skin. Actually, I like that guy. I think he's like really Goku cool. Sock the shit out of him and nothing. Nothing. Surprised Goku didn't hurt his hand. Yeah. Then again, he was um, he was kind of holding back still, even with like his like neutral like I guess Super Saiyan God form still, because that's that's his base form now. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Whew. 
All right, I guess this is my my jam now. <laughs> I can't control it. <laughs> Goku, control it. I can't. It's all flimsy now. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, like Goku's twirl. Oh my god, <laughs> that one bit of animation just like came out of nowhere. <laughs> those like those instant moments of like actual good animation is like, well, hold on, let's hold on, let's we'll slow down for a bit. Where they actually show what's happening instead of lines. That except for the bunny girl who just gets knocked out immediately. I also got knocked out too. What? <laughs> when? <laughs> She's totally okay with it. Yeah, I got. I, I just got knocked out. Whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what else is there? Uh, I'm trying, oh yeah, the fact that all of them got knocked out. Yeah. Was the fact it was leading to the fact that they were all gonna get. Universe 9 ru- rushed in and paid for it. And now they're all gone. Like, all of them. And everybody, absolutely everyone stopped fighting. Because someone was, con- a team was knocked out and... Well shit, we all know what's gonna happen. So they're and like, they were dis- and oh. Xenosama just... Zoop. Yeah. And, and everyone so who... squished them. Everyone who was participating, except for, of course, like... What what's the designated names? The guys who like watch over the God's destruction. What was the angels? Des- the angels. Okay, everyone except for the angels. Which, by the way, that that one angel guy for Universe Nine was just like, eh, it's whatever. I like it. He looked happy about it. He's that was. I can't haunting. blame. Him. I can't blame him though. You really can't. The the Supreme Kai of Universe Nine was constantly making an ass out of himself. Like, it's like, ugh. definitely glad he's gone. Him and Jerry will be my favorites, just not be around anymore. Yeah. I think that it would be weird. I mean, like they could all they can totally like pull out oh, we'll bring them back to life because this is actually a controversy or something like that from like uh Zensama's um appointed angel or something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, well I mean we'll see about it later on, but they could they could the probably idea do is it. that Goku is gonna freaking wish everyone back. I think so. Super Dragon Ball. Super. I got it. Super. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> what is this, the Super Mario Brothers movie? Super Mario Brothers. What about Daisy? Fuck Daisy. <laughs> Fuck Bowser. Um, but yeah, that was, that was definitely like the, the key points in this in that particular episode, which was like Universe Nine, like getting up and then the strategy of the Saiyans. And then just Universe 9. Just, just the innate gone. ability of the Saiyans to know when to just, strike to win. That That's in their blood. Yeah, to, ju- to just know when the winning moment is mm-hmm. and how to take full control of it. Yeah. Except, I guess except for like when Frieza blew up the planet and then we said to turn back time. And that's when Goku's like, oh, okay, Frieza! <laughs> and Frieza's like, oh shit! <laughs> Oh shit. oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! If I had one regret, is that I'm dying. And we just like go. What the fuck? Or Kakra? What the fuck? Oh, we haven't seen much of like the other scenes either. Mm-hmm. Um, we yet to see about Kaba, 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 Kaba Kale, and um, Khalifa. Khalifa. I want to see Khalifa, like actual fight. Or wait, which one is it? The one who like goes brawly sand? Kale. Kale. I gotta see Kale. I wanna see Khalifa. That's also Yeah, like how's she gonna stack up like especially if she fights against the other Saiyans. Because I wonder if she actually is strong. I mean she already it's weird how everyone's I mean it's because it's a tournament power, all these strongest fighters are fighting, but the fact that she activated Super Saiyan like immediately. Mm-hmm. And so she's that, but I don't know. Because Kaba was supposed to be a really strong Saiyan. Yeah. But. He was nothing. He really was. He's really not very strong in it, grand, the grand scheme, especially compared to the other Saiyans. Yeah. Uh, Kale went to Super Saiyan 2 immediately. Mm hmm. So it's like, holy shit, dude. What? <laughs> so that's 250 times what she was. Or, no, that's. 2,500. God, like... 50 times 50. 
250. Yeah, 2,500. Yeah. If you think about it, it takes Super Saiyan 2 Gohan to beat Cell. And to think that Kale like, goes instantaneously to Super Saiyan 2 is kind of scary, actually. I just so, want to know what her fighting ability is. Because, again, she can have all the power-ups in the world, but if she doesn't have a strong base... Right. Powered up, ba powered up zero is still going to be zero. Yeah, that's true. So she has... I mean, she is a glass can. She is the wild card that we kind of don't know what she's going to do. And if she's going to, like, redeem herself. She's definitely going to have a moment. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, like, I can anticipate Universe 6 or R7 to prevail, they're still going to have trouble with them. I think it is going to come down between... The Saiyans. Not even that. I think it's going to come down to 7 and um, 10. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, like... They weren't like. I think like, almost everyone's gonna get knocked out except for Topo, Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, and Jiren. Jiren. I think it's gonna come down to them, and Universe Seven is gonna win because time's gonna run out. But Goku and Goku's not gonna be able to touch Jiren. Yeah, that sounds a lot better, actually. I would like it if they win by default. Mm -hmm. It yeah. would make for excellent story because shit, well, shit, Jiren dude. should be that strong. Yeah. He's already shown that he's just leaps and bounds ahead of Goku. Speed just, and like, well... Speed and his ability to know his surroundings. Mm -hmm. All those projectiles were coming and he didn't even move because he knew that they weren't going to hit him. It's kind of like... Um... He is like a target of what Goku wants to be, or at least how what he should be, because like there's definitely moments where like where Whis is telling him like you're way too, like you're way too lax at times. If Goku was yeah, if Goku was as serious about his training as he thinks he is, then, then yeah, he would be at Jiren's level. Mm -hmm. But him and Vegeta, since they don't know how to work together. They right. can't be to a higher level. Yes, their rivalry is good, and it's pushing them to further and further levels, but if they can't work together to push each other... Then they're missing that key component mm -hmm. that will, like... I guess, unlock, I guess, infinite possibilities for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're just, they have the ability to continue, like, improving, but... To at what rate, I guess. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Otherwise, they might reach a plateau in their abilities. Because Piccolo and Gohan, I'm pretty sure, if it weren't for the fact that Piccolo's not a Saiyan, they could be way stronger than Goku and Vegeta if Gohan actually wanted to train. Like, Gohan has, still has all that potential, still. Mm -hmm. Like, even has, like, his own form, the ultimate Gohan. He does well. have a new ultimate Gohan, huh? Yeah. So, it'd be interesting to see, like, Gohan actually go all out. I want to see it. That new Got form. It. Yeah, like, I really like seeing him, like, against Super Boo. Just, like, him just toying with, like, Super Boo and the fact, like, you can't really touch me. And if you can, it's not going to do anything. Um, what was that? Oh, yeah, that reminds me of, just kind of a side tangent, that fight with Goku versus that one Piccolo-looking dude. I think it was, like, Aww. that tournament with the Kais. That was... God. You're talking about the green guy with the, like, cell-type ears, right? Yeah, he, um, I'm trying to remember his, his attire. He had, like, an interesting-looking hat. Yeah, he had the tall hat. Yeah, the tall hat, yeah. That I mean, is, like, um, fuck, Anaya knows his name. Yeah, he's cool. I, I, I generally like that. Piccolo. Piccolo? Piccolo. Piccolo. Yes, yes, okay. It's always, it's always have to start with a P, I guess. Mr. Piccolo. Mr. Piccolo. Yeah. Uh, as far as the other, what was the episode preview actually? Now that I think about it, um, um, did we watch it? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, think we watched the preview. Okay, yeah. In that case, I can only, I can only just imagine that um, we'll probably see some screen time. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna see what Krillin can do. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna looking forward to that because of all the characters, like. If it wasn't Yamcha, it's Krillin that I want to see like improve. 
I want to see his glowing fist. I want to know what the deal is with that. Like, is it? Oh, if it was like some kind of like, if it was essentially his destructo disc in fist form, that'd be amazing. So much power he can't handle, but he just so happens to contain it in his fist. What are you chewing on? Ah! Is this it? Probs. Oh my god, you're still chewing on something. Alright, we're gonna um, end the discussion here. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to like what happens in the later, especially like with the individual characters like Roshi and Tien. I want to see what they can do in this fight. But yeah, we're ending the episode here or discussion. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next discussion. Hashtag bite.